Yeah. Well, Chloe, you're the youngest player in the league. You just became the youngest player to score in the league. What does it mean to you? Um, it honestly means the world to me. This was one of my goals since the beginning of the season to score in a game, and I finally achieved that. And with my whole family watching, and my whole team encouraging me and boosting me to do this, it's unbelievable, to be honest. We heard your uh, sister from the press box saying that she swore you were going to score today, and you did. What did it mean being that Ashley Hatch was the one who assisted on it since the last time we talked? You referred to her as your big sister on the club. Yeah, I mean, Ashley Hatch assists a lot of goals and scores a lot of goals, but for her to not be selfish, even though she could have 100% scored there and passed to me. It means a lot that she was thinking about me and she knows that I've wanted to score. So her passing me the ball in that space was unbelievable. What's the season been like for you? It's been great. Like, I have no complaints. I'm just so excited to be here and to be getting minutes and playing with such amazing players. Um, during one of your guys' little video shoots, you had mentioned um, one of the players said you were more of a chihuahua and you had responded back that you weren't. Um, the type of dog that you mentioned, your dad sent a photo. What does that breed mean to you? Um, yeah, I had a Belgian Malinois when I was about 12 and he lived for two years, but by far my favorite dog and just the intensity that do that dog had. I try to replicate that in my game, like just the intensity. So that dog breed means a lot to me, and I finally got another one. So now that you're in the uh, second half of the your first NWSL mm -hmm. season, what's the biggest thing that you've learned, and what's the biggest thing you want to improve on? Um, honestly, the biggest thing I've learned is being a sponge, just absorb all the information you can, and I would like to improve on my shooting on the field. What's it been like playing for Mark? It's amazing. I think he's the best coach I've ever seen. I think his IQ for the game is incredible in the way he can explain things and encourage players and encourage them to be their best is quite impressive. When you subbed off after scoring that goal, you and Mark had a moment there. He said he wanted to leave it to you. What was said between the two of you? Uh, yeah, he told me before the game that he had a feeling that I was going to score. So he was just like, I told you so when I came off right then. What are some of your goals for the remainder of the uh, season here? Um, score another goal, get a lot of minutes, well, as many minutes as I can, and just keep contributing to the team's success. What does it feel like only being 16 and know that there's 13, 14, 15-year-olds now looking to do what you did this year and get into this league? Yeah, I'm hoping that I'm creating a pathway to make it easier for other very talented players to also turn pro at such a young age. How are you managing school and being a pro? Yeah, spirit is very helpful with that. I have practice in the morning and then in the afternoon I can do my school, I can hang out with friends, so I have a lot of time to do school. Is there anybody on the team that's helped you with the transitioning or has it just been basically Hatch or it's a been group effort? It's been everyone on the team, yeah. They're all mothering to me and I couldn't ask for a better family. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chloe. Mm -hmm. I got home. I'll catch you in the time. <laughs> yeah.